about my book, I, I really was very skeptical that saunas and cold baths could do anything for aging. It seems too easy, you know, it uh, sounded like it was a uh, uh, hype. Uh, as I researched it, um, and even more so in the last year, there have been a lot of studies in, in mice, in rats, in dogs, and in, now in humans, that convinces me that these longevity genes that I work on, the sirtuins, are turned on by hot air in the lungs and on the skin, um, and also shocking the body with cold plunges into four degree temperature for at least three minutes, sometimes colder, sometimes longer. But these actually turn on these sirtuin defenses. As I mentioned, there are seven of these defense enzymes that we mm. study. There is one in particular that is turned on by cold, called SIRT3, um, and it's found in the back, it's found, actually it's found in throughout the body, but when we are cold, it will turn on, and SIRT3 so protects the energy supply in the body, so it turns on the, what's called the mitochondria, the energy packs in the cell, and by being cold, it actually can rev up these little machines, and we know that revving those uh, mitochondria is very important for staying young. Mm -hmm. But when we're babies, we have brown fat, it's what keeps us warm. You know, baby, little babies, they can't shiver like we can, so they have this brown fat. And about 15 years ago, we thought only babies had brown fat. But if you look using an MRI or a PET scan, you can actually see the brown fat in adults. And if you're cold, if you do these kind of cold plunges, uh, you can actually stimulate to have more brown fat. And brown fat is much healthier than white fat. Yeah, push, push yourself into the uncomfortable zone. Um, every day. Do something that makes you feel uncomfortable physically and uh, maybe even mentally. And then, uh, you know, you'll probably get those benefits. We like to feel uh, safe. We like to feel uh, not very tired. We don't like to be hungry. We don't like to be hot or cold. But we need to push our bodies and mm. into this uncomfortable zone. You know, maybe not, you don't need to feel like you're dying, but you do need to make your body feel a bit uncomfortable to get the extra longevity benefits from these genes that we have.